right in Space Watch. We are just hours away from a historic launch at the Kennedy Space Center uh, in uh, Florida. So here's what's going to happen. The Falcon X, or rather the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is set to send uh, NASA astronauts into orbit. And this is the first time that this has happened with a private company. That's what's making it um, so important. Um, so Skylar Henry has more on what hopefully will be taking place today. With just hours to go, a decade's worth of work will be put to the test, turning a new chapter in America's storied space program. NASA and SpaceX are ready to launch. This is a unique moment where all of America can take a, a moment and look at our country do something stunning again. And that is launch American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. Longtime astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Bankin will take Elon Musk's Crew Dragon spacecraft on a mission to the International Space Station. I'm a big believer in the commercialization of space. We need it to be successful. It's how we're going to get to the moon and on to Mars. It's the first time a private company is sending astronauts into orbit with the help of NASA and a multi-billion dollar investment from taxpayers. Almost everything is controlled by, by touch and screen. That's even how you fly it. There's no stick. You know, there's no like giant wheel or stick to, to fly. You, you, you fly by touching the touchscreen like you're playing a video game. Former NASA astronaut Garrett Reisman has guided SpaceX through the journey from ambitious idea to actual spacecraft on a launch pad. In a way, you guys are the torchbearers almost in terms of a, a new type of business model and potentially a space travel model. Yeah, so that's the really exciting thing about this. Now, the first and foremost, what's happening this week is a successful launch will we'll be NASA and the United States getting back into the business of sending humans up to the space station. A successful mission puts NASA on track to become less reliant on Russian spacecraft, which has been the case since the last American shuttle landed in 2011. Skyler Henry, CBS News, at the Kennedy Space Center. All right, let's bring in the CBS News national correspondent, Mark Strassman. You are standing by there waiting. Um, I know a little bit earlier, Mark, there were, some, there were some concerns about the weather. I think it had been raining or at least overcast earlier. What's the likelihood of things, you know, going off as planned? Well, Marie, the last couple of days actually have been pretty dreary here. It was raining this morning, uh, too, and the sun is out now, but actually the, the chances of a positive weather uh, for a forecast of 4.33 Eastern time this afternoon have actually just been downgraded from 60% to 50%, which means five days mm -hmm. out of 10, they would launch. Here's the thing. This is not a typical launch in any way. It's, you know, it, it's potentially uh, a moment in space history. It's the first time that uh, this uh, private company has ever uh, launched a, a, a two people, actually, into flight. Uh, and so, I, look, I, I think they're going to want to make sure that everything is, is absolutely Perfect. Uh, that said, you know, it, they could fly today, they could, they could not fly today. We just haven't had the final word. But at this point, it's trending in the wrong direction. Hmm. Uh, mm. All right. Uh, Mark, you also, you also spoke to um, Elon Musk about the launch. I want to play a little bit of that. It's an incredible honor to be on this launch pad for which we're immensely grateful. This is 39A is like Times Square. It's, it's not just opening a play on Broadway, it's opening a play on Times Square. Mm. Okay, it's like, it's the best pad in the world. What does this moment mean to you? Well, this is the culmination of a dream. This is a dream come true. In fact, it feels surreal. If you'd asked me when starting SpaceX if this would happen, I'd be like 1%, 0.1% chance. So, Mark, what stood out to you about this interview? Well, that's uh, Launchpad 39A over my left shoulder and uh, the Falcon 9 rocket and the Crew Dragon capsule on top of it. All, all they're waiting for now, of course, is uh, weather to, uh, to give them permission to launch. Um, you know, we all know Elon Musk is sort of this dynamic, daring entrepreneur. He's running two companies at once. He's got his Tesla car company and now he has his SpaceX space company. And what, he, what struck me about him was a, a certain level of, of how space, which is hard to do, uh, has, has been humbling for him, humbling in a couple of ways. One, he says that rockets, rockets are the hardest thing he's ever tried. I mean, so much harder than cars, he mm. told me. Uh, and the other thing, too, is, look, he's, he's had 19 successful cargo flights to the space station on, these, uh, on his Falcon 9 rockets. Um, and no company's ever done that before. 
but this is different. This is flying people, right? And there's just a different level of pressure and responsibility that goes with taking uh, uh, two human lives, in this case, astronauts uh, Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley, and, and making sure that, that they will get from, from that launch pad behind me all the way to the space station. And he said that when he, when he thinks about that, he, he, he can't focus on it too long because he, he starts to get emotional about it. Um, and so mm. there's a lot on the line here for, for him and for NASA and for this whole notion of can private companies, will private companies become this new era in space travel? I mean, NASA imagines that uh, all suborbital um, space travel will become privatized. But first, moments like this have to go well. And so there really is a, uh, just an awful lot riding on this launch, making sure that everything goes well, making sure these, these two guys get to the space station and back safely. That's absolutely priority number one. And then we'll, we'll see where we go from here. So, so you know, Musk, interesting guy, clearly, uh, but definitely also feels, uh, feels the weight of the moment as his company gets ready to make that space history. Oh, that's so interesting. So speaking of these two guys that are putting their lives in uh, his hands, what do we know about the, the astronauts? Well, they're both, I, I've met these guys, you know, a number of times, uh, both very down to earth guys. They, they're actually kind of similar in many ways. They, they both came out of the military, both were in uh, uh, test flight, uh, have test flight backgrounds. Uh, Benkin is a colonel in the Air Force. Uh, Hurley is a colonel in the Marines. They both came in in the astronaut, NASA astronaut class of 2000. Uh, they both have been to uh, the space shuttle, uh, on the space shuttle twice before, been to the space station twice before. They actually, here's interesting, they actually both married astronauts that they met in that same astronaut class. In fact, uh, wow. uh, Hurley was the best man in Benkin's wedding. And, and they both have a, 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 a young son, one is 10, one is six. So they have an awful lot going on. They will tell you they're best friends. And so they're more than crewmates. Uh, they are people who know each other extremely well and they'll tell you, you know, they can read each other sort of like a married couple, right? They, they know when, from the tone of somebody's voice that what's going on with that other guy. They can anticipate what, how the other, the other guy is going to react. In many ways, given their test flight background, their closeness as friends and their temperaments, because they're both very calm under pressure. You can see why they would be a, a near ideal choice to launch this new era of space flight, where you have sort of an odd couple partnership here between a, a dynamic young space company like SpaceX and you know NASA, the, the traditional space institution, and then bring them together with NASA astronauts and the SpaceX hardware and, and trying to make this uh, trying to make this a reality. So it's a, it's a it's a very interesting alignment of resources and people trying to bring this all to fruition this afternoon. Hmm. Love that story, Mark. That's de a, de a level yeah. of detail I was not aware of, and I'm, I'm suspecting our audience will love it too. Really, really interesting. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, we'll be checking in with you a little bit later, just in a couple of hours. Mark, we appreciate it. Perfect. Talk to you soon, guys. All right. So as we just said, we are keeping our fingers crossed, Anne-Marie, that this will happen, and CBSN will have special live coverage of the launch uh, beginning at 12.30. We're gonna go up a little early in anticipation of this, and I'm hoping that it, it does launch. It's really cool, this notion that uh, Saturn, uh, uh, astronauts are launching uh, from the United States, and uh, we haven't seen that in yeah. quite some time. Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's take a break, we'll be back.